Hey, my friend, I hope you're well. On this episode of the Couch Story Fun, we're going to compare and contrast all these amazing Marvel, Spider-Man, Titan Hero series figures, right? We have Venom, I'm sorry, Venom, Carnage, and Spider-Man. We're, we're going to compare and contrast the different lines. We're going to listen to sound effects, and we're going to see which one is the coolest for each character. Okay, cool. So, without further ado, let's have more happen. Let's start unboxing some Marvel, Spider-Man, Titan Hero series figures. Whoopsh! Couch Story Fun! Toys rule! <laughs> Okay guys, so for our first one we have Carnage. So there is two different lines that came out uh, this year actually, and I think last year. There is the actual, from the Venom movie, there is the Marvel Venom Titan Hero series line which with Carnage, right? And Carnage is kind of like an ultimate bad guy, right? Really bad news, right? And then there's the front, here's the back. Pretty cool. Carnage, an alien symbiote craving chaos and destruction. Carnage is the ultimate enemy of justice, right? Pretty sweet. It's awesome graphics on it though. And then here is another version that came out with the um, Marvel Spider-Man line, Titan Hero series, right? So there's the front of that bad boy. There he is, right? Close up down there. And the back, same thing, like menacing alien creature, right? And it looks like, it's almost, it's, I wonder if it's the same line as well. An alien symbiote craving chaos and destruction. Carnage is the ultimate enemy of oh, Spider-Man. Okay, so, so, so they changed it up instead of Justice and Spider-Man. Okay, cool. So there you go. Let's unbox them and compare and contrast. Okay, here are both of them unboxed. Here's what they look like from the front. Here's what they look like from the back. So here's a close-up of the Marvel Venom version of Carnage, right? So, oh, he looks pretty, I don't wanna put my, my finger near his mouth, man, he might bite it off. But look at those, look at those teeth, man, it's like a shark, right? Pretty cool, head moves. I love all the detail, and this is all like painted on. Uh, look at those claws, right? Pretty cool claws. Twist around like so, arms move out. This one kind of, that's as far as that one goes, but look at, this one's got a wide, huge grip. Look at the size of that thing, Ugh, right? Spins around, cool. Legs, you can do the sit, you can do the split, you can do the sit. That's as far as he kind of goes. There's nothing, nothing on the back, which is kind of, uh, that's that kind of stinks that they kind of chinsed out with the detail in the back, right? Okay, so there's the Marvel Venom Carnage version. Let's check out the other one. Okay, now this one is the Marvel Spider-Man Tiny Hero series version, right? So kind of very similar, right? Pretty cool. Head, head turns. Now this is more molded, right? Versus just being painted on. This is actually part of like when they sculpt it, which is a lot nicer, right? A lot more detail on this one. His hands are like black, which are pretty cool, right? Turn around, they spin around. Now his arms don't go out though, unlike the other one, right? It's got the big claw here. Right? Now this one, this one kind of goes out a little bit. This one, I, don't, I wonder why, it's so weird. Hmm, okay. But pretty cool detail. You know, he can do the, the split, he can do the sit. Not that much though. And again, they chinsed out in the back, which I think they should have kept the detail going. Okay, so now if we compare the two, right? You can kind of see, like the heads a little bit are pretty much the same, except this one has black, you can see a black mouth. This one is kind of just red. And then this one has all this painted kind of alien symbiote stuff stuff going on where this is just, this is more like painted on top of the sculpt, right? On top of the plastic, which is nicer. And then the, this one has black hands. This one has red hands, same kind of grips, right? They're just different colors. And then the backs are pretty much the same. Right, except this one's got a little bit more black coming from the front. So, um, I would have to say, for my personal favorite, I would have to. I would. No, nah, I'm not a big fan of the Venom Venom one. I would definitely go with the Spider-Man Carnage. I think there was more detail with it. Um, I mean, I, I wish they would have. I like the black mouth on this version, but I mean, overall, this one's a. I don't know. It's just a cooler figure, man. Ah. You can fight them. Pretty cool. Okay, so there you have it. There's my compare and contrast between the Marvel Venom Titan Hero Series Carnage figure and the Marvel Spider-Man Titan Hero Series Carnage figure. Cool. Let's do our next one. Blah! Okay, next up we have the Venom, uh, Marvel Venom Titan Hero Series Venom figure. Right, which is pretty sweet. Versus the Marvel Spider-Man Titan Hero Series Venom figure. So here is the front of the Marvel Venom one. Right, pretty cool. Cool artwork. And there's the back. Look at that size of that tongue, man. Holy, can you imagine getting slobbered with that? You think it's getting slobbered with your dog's tongue is bad. Yeesh. See, the Venom, this Venom symbiote turns into human, I'm sorry, 
turns its human host into a sinister menace with no remorse for wrongdoings. Pretty cool. Okay, and then here is the Marvel Spider-Man Titan Hero series Venom, right? There's the front and the, and the back. Oh man, look at all that slime right there, man, yeesh. Definitely an awesome illustration. And Sinister Symbiote. And the Venom Symbiote turns its human host into an evil enemy of Spider-Man. Right, so, so they kind of just different sayings on the back. Pretty cool. Okay, let's unbox both of them. Okay, so here is both of them unboxed. Here's what they look like from the front. And here's what they look like from the back. And here is the Marvel Venom Titan Hero series Venom figure. I almost said Carnage, yeesh. So here's his head, kind of spins around. Pretty cool. That mouth, man, again, when I'm gonna, ow, right? Like a piranha mouth, right? Here's the front. And then this looks like it's just painted on the spider, or like Venom symbol, right? But he's got some cool, he's got some cool details, like some, like some veins and stuff like that, or some kind of like symbiote, you know, stuff, you know, kind of like, it's just not screen printed. Definitely inside the mold, which is pretty sweet. It's got an awesome, kind of like very similar, it's probably the same hand as, uh, as um, Carnage. Right, arms kind of go out a little bit. Spin around. This one's got the big, like, oh, he grabbed somebody by the throat. Oh, right, it's pretty cool. That spins around, right? Arms kind of go out, pretty cool. Venom hug, oh, give you a big hug. Okay, then you can sit a little bit, not, not, not a lot. You can split, there's the back. And nothing really in the back there, so cool. So there is the Venom, Marvel Venom Titan Hero Series Venom figure. Okay, and here is the Marvel T Spider-Man Titan Hero Series Venom figure. And obviously a different head, right? He's got a tongue actually. Head moves around, tongue's like blah, 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 doesn't really move. Now this is nice because actually the Spider-Man symbol isn't just painted on, it's, a, it's, it's sculpted into it, which is really nice, nice detail. Um, doesn't have as much detail um, on the arms and the body as the other one. Right, but it's okay. He's got these, he's got the white, um, kind of like for, on his gloves. Hands are smaller, they're not as kind of like, blah, right? Turns around. This one just doesn't, kind of just spins around, doesn't really do anything, right? This one's kind of like a little bit different, but not as wide a grip as the other ones. He can sit fully, he can definitely sit, and then he can, well, he can't split. Nope, well, he, but he can go backwards though. <laughs> there you go, that's pretty cool. Okay, so overall not so bad. Now if you compare the two, right? Let's see, look at the heads. So the heads, get your, let's get the arms down a little bit. You can see the heads here, this one has a tongue. The eyes are, the eyes are different, you can tell that. This one is just painted on as far as the, the white symbol of Venom. Uh, this is more like, like a sculpt, right? So it's embossed a little bit. Um, the hands are the, probably the biggest deal. You can kind of see he's got the white, this one has a white one. This, this one's definitely better, better hands, right, and grip. Same thing with this one too. Kind of see there, right? Definitely bigger. Um, I think there's a little bit more detail on this one, right? But, I mean, this one's nice, but there's a little bit more, there's more like in his arms and stuff like that versus just kind of like nothing really going on here. Um, this one actually has a nice, on the back here, this one has kind of like the, the Spider-Man symbol, or the, the Venom symbol, but they should have like painted this white or something. That would have been really cool. Um, pretty cool. I mean, if it was f between the two, I would actually have to go with the Marvel Venom Titan Hero series version of this. I like the, the big, I like the big, uh, the big hands. I mean, I wish the only thing they would have had is, is a tongue in there, but I could, I could do without the tongue. It, ah, right? But um, I think they're, they're very, they're both cool figures, but I'd have to go with this one. Okay, so there you have it. There's my compare and contrast between the Marvel Venom Titan Hero Series Venom figure and the Marvel Spider-Man Titan Hero Series Venom figure. Okay, let's do our next one. Okay guys, so for our next one, we're gonna compare and contrast the Marvel Ultimate Spider-Man Titan Hero Series Spider-Man figure against the Marvel Spider-Man Titan Hero Series Titan Hero Power of X Spider-Man. So that's what they look like from the front. And here's what they look like from the back. So I would take a closer look at the Marvel Ultimate Spider-Man Titan Hero Series Spider-Man figure, right? That's the front, and the back, large size superhero, and oh my gosh, there's like a paragraph under here. Spider-Man, one bite from a radioactive spider changed Peter Parker's life forever, giving him superhero powers and amazing wall crawling ability. Wearing the mask that has made him a legend, he battles evil wherever heroes needed as one and only Spider-Man. Pretty cool. Okay, and then this guy right here, Right, the Marvel Spider-Man Titan Hero Series Titan Hero Power of X Spider-Man. 
and see what it says in the back for this guy. Pretty sweet illustration. And this one just says, web slinging superhero, Spider-Man. One bite from a radioactive spider turns Peter Parker into Spider-Man, a web slinging superhero with amazing powers and wall calling abilities. And then everything else is just in different language. Okay, cool. And also there's other figures here like Ghost Spider, Spider Gwen, Armored, Armored Spider, Miles Morales. Check some out. Check out my other videos. I have these guys all unboxed too. Okay, cool. So let's unbox them. Okay, so here's what they look like from the front, and here's what they look like from the back. Okay, and here's a close-up of the Ultimate Sp Marvel Ultimate Spider-Man Titan Hero Series Spider-Man figure. Pretty cool. Head moves around pretty easily. Nice detail on the chest. It all looks like this you know, the costume is all molded in there, which is nice. Same thing with the Black Spider logo. Pretty awesome. Got the spider web. Toys rule slash web slinging uh, kind of pose, but this doesn't swivel, unfortunately. Arms do. And the regular hand here. And then kind of got some same detail on his, in the feet. Feet turn around, which is kind of cool. You can sit. You can't split. You can go backwards. Oh, you can do the backwards. Pretty cool. This one they should have painted. That would have been nice if they would have painted that one. But okay, so cool. Overall, not a bad figure. I mean, it's pretty sweet. Okay, okay, so here is a Marvel Spider-Man Titan Hero series Titan Hero Power FX Spider-Man figure. And there's the head, kind of moves around. This is just, it's a different kind of, like, plastic, I want to say. Or just kind of paint job, right? That one's more shiny, this one's more muted, right? Or dull, right? Cool, but it's a very cool sculpt, very nice sculpt indeed. Right, there's his logo. Hand spin on this one. Arms go out. And then this one has a Power FX port on the arm and on the back, which is cool, so you got to get... One of the Power FX figures that have one of these things, and we'll do that in a second. This is actually from the Spider-Man one. Cool, so see how they painted the Spider-Man logo on the back? That's what they should have done with the other one, too. Pretty cool, right? He can sit. But these, this guy doesn't have his legs that, that spin around. He can split. Can't do backwards, but that's okay. So then what you do is you grab one of the Power FX ports from, you know, the Infinity War guys or the Avengers Endgame guys. And then basically just put him up here and um, he'll say some sounds and phrases. So we'll just do that right here. And you press this button. Be careful not to shoot the, uh, the missile in your eye. Like that. Spider-Man is on the scene. Okay, press this button again for some more. Red and blue coming through. Red and blue coming through. I think it's one of my favorite lines ever. Doing it in the back like so too. Red and blue coming through. Red and blue coming through. So overall, I think it's a cool figure. Um, I would have to say between the two of them, I would definitely have to go with the Power FX version, Titan Hero Power FX. I mean, come on, it has sounds and phrases. I mean, obviously you'd have to buy one of the you have to buy one of the other figures that comes with one of these. But overall, this thing's pretty awesome, man. Um, I think I'm not mistaken, but I th I'm not sure if sometimes the only thing with these Power FX figures, uh, the ones that did, well, sorry, to the rescue. one of these, the, the ones that don't come with the accessory, they only sometimes say like four or five, four sounds. It's so like two, like they're usually two sound effects and like two phrases. So just be aware of that if you don't get the Spider-Man one, but it might work. But I think since this is a Spider-Man version, um, it probably works a lot more. But I would say overall, let's see, put this guy back on here. I would definitely have to go with the Yes, this Marvel Spider-Man Titan Hero series, Titan Hero Power FX Spider-Man, uh, the two. Sorry, buddy. I mean, the reason being is obviously the sound effects. Um, kind of see the heads are a little, you know, this one's a. I think it's just a cleaner sculpt, right? This has the kind of like the the spider web on his uh, costumes a little bit. The lines are closer together. These ones are further apart. Um, I think he just looks. You know, I know. I just. I, just, I know. I just like them. I mean, I'd like to. This one's more shiny. This one's more dull. But I just, I don't know. Overall, I think it's just a better figure. I mean, obviously, these his legs move or from like the feet down, right? His doesn't. But I like the, um, I like the sounds and phrases on here. I think 
That would be my opinion. So there you have it. There is a compare and contrast between the Marvel Ultimate Spider-Man Titan Hero Series Spider-Man figure and the Marvel Spider-Man Titan Hero Series Titan Hero Power Effects Spider-Man figure. Cool. Okay, my friends. So there are all six figures uh, together side by side. The two Carnage figures side by side. Then we have the two Venom figures side by side. And then we have the two Spider-Man figures side by side. Overall, very cool. I think you can't go wrong with any of the figures if you get your hands on them. But um, like I said, I would say for my favorite of the Carnage would be the Marvel Spider-Man Tony Hill series version of them. For the Venom, it would actually be the Venom uh, Titan Hero series Venom figure and for the Spider-Man it would definitely be the Marvel Spider-Man Titan Hero series Titan Hero Power Effects Spider-Man figure. Cool. So there you have it my friends. There is a compare and contrast between the Carnage, Venom, and Spider-Man figures. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.